Confucius advises, always strive to cultivate your inner gentleman. Think of virtue where common men think only of comfort. But do not look down on common men. By the powers of sincerity, graciousness, adaptability, diligence, but most of all, moderation. Confucius created five tests to find out who is worthy. Employ the to be gentleman on a distant mission and bestow him with great privilege. Dear Prototype, you're invited to Confucius's all about moderation party. Only rule be moderate. Observe his degree of sincerity, for faithfulness and loyalty are a gentleman's sharpest weapons. Yes? Well, I suspect not. Hey, you little fella, been drinking or what? Can I only let you in if you're straight? Straight as can be. Mm, prove it. C-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L K-Y-I-I-H-F-E-D-C-B-A Make the content of his secure and observe his degree of graciousness. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish us from beasts? A woman was approaching Confucius in a bar, and she says, Confucius, either you seduce me, kill this goat, or drink a bucket full of booze. So Confucius thought, if I kill the goat, I harm a living being. I'm such a fancy lad, I can't do that. I can't do that. Being Confucius, I can't just bang the chick either. So Confucius chose the booze. I will be drunk for a while, what's the harm, he thought. So Confucius drinks the bucket full of booze. And he ends up killing the chick and fucking the goat. <laughs> oh, look at me. I am Confucius. I can't handle my booze. This potion, it's overpowering me. Where did my enzymes go? <laughs> Am I right? You will let him haze his judgment with wine. Observe how well he handles alcohol himself. To do that, he will place him in mixed company and observe his adaptability. A spinster with the most feared bush in all of Dublin. The potato famine, famished for potatoes. Stay sane, Count Kerry. If in doubt, gloss him. Shaquille O'Neal. White grapes, am I right? Let's go beat them up. Surround him with tempting shapes and see what effect beauty has upon him. Let me tell you a story about two grapes. One of the two grapes leaned over to ask the other, does red wine make you as horny as me? But the other grape was quiet, so the first grape knew that, yes, the second grape was indeed horny. Look at that, I'm so horny. And that was the story about two grapes who became gay grapes for a night and didn't tell anyone about it. How do you like my story? <laughs> Don't ignore me. Pain. Pain. 
will suddenly ask his advice and observe how wisely he answers. Let Confucius ask, how to drink in moderation? Uh, great party, Confucius. Great theme, moderation. Love it. Mm. As Confucius always say, never give a sword to a man who can't dance. Your pearls of wisdom make me Confucius, Confucius. Sounds like you suspect me of being drunk, don't you? Not just drunk, as drunk as a skunk. Yeah, yeah, I get it. As drunk as a lord. Okay, okay. Zonked, guttered, pixelated, and sponge stinko, Confucius think. Jesus, you're a real job away from being a drunk Chinese businessman yourself. Confucius is a teacher, thinker, and gentleman. How dare you? How dare you? I'm Confucius, true gentleman. Confucius believes only defeated grapes result to racism. <clears throat> Can Confucius start a sentence without addressing himself in the third person? Confucius co con Confucius can't. Listen, Confucius, you can be all about moderation. You want to know what I drank for my birthday? I put yellow paint in dirty water and laced it with nail polish. I called it Chechen beer, just for my own amusement, because nobody showed up to my party, not even you. Confucius was busy. Sometimes I need to be a pig, Confucius, to make me forget I'm a bad farmer. Confucius likes that quote. Only true gentlemen can quote. I got more where that comes from. <laughs> Let Confucius use his wisdom to heal. <laughs> Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Isn't that right, Confucius? Right. <laughs> 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 Rich asshole. <laughs>